We are embarking on a one-hour adventure. 2017 Panini Prism Football, 12 box, pick your team number eight. Now, you could watch the recap video, but then you'll miss out on all the fun conversation. What if I drop like break credit codes through this break? Then you'll be like, oh, now I have to watch the entire GD video. All right, big thanks to these folks for getting into the action on a Friday night. Pick your team eight, all 12 boxes. The football, it's been a little bit since we've, been, since we've done Prism football. There it is, Ryan with Last Bot Mojo and the Niners. He needs a little redemption from last night. He's looking for Mahomes and or Hunt. Mr. Mahomes and or Mr. Hunt. All right. There's the oh, huge box of Prism right here. They will. That's true. I don't want. If you stay for the break, you will. You will hear uh, some great. Well, you'll hear my football picks. That's guaranteed. You'll hear my picks for the weekend. You might get some talk about fingerlings and other other big uh, Christmas time toys. All 12 boxes right there. There's four stacks of three on that. Majestic, amazing. God, I think I've got everything I need here. So we'll try to try to breeze through these as, as quickly as we can. Let me try to make myself a little extra space here. Move some of these boxes around. All right, there you go, as you know, Three autographs and nine numbered parallels per box. All sorts of fun things here. There you go. 2017. Get comfortable, folks. Get comfy. But there will be, a, like I said before, there will be a separate video with a autograph recap and maybe any any parallels that are like under 25, 25 or under, something like that. All right. Let's start. Uh, let's start by conversing a little bit here, ladies and gentlemen. What? So the what? What's the what's the big toy of the holidays? I'm hearing word from the parents in the room. I'm hearing word that it's fingerlings. Now tell me what they do. I I looked at pictures of them. They look like uh, they they. I think Abner was saying this earlier, uh, and I agree. And they kind of look like they kind of look like Teletubbies, right? Miniature Teletubbies. That, that wrap around your finger, but someone else was saying that, that, they're, that they're interactive or something like that? Like, how does that work? Well, how do they interact with you? Which sounds like witchcraft to me, which sounds like sorcery. You know, it sounds like some magi came and, and animated these, these inanimate objects, and now I don't know what's happening. So I need more details on this, ladies and gentlemen. And, and tell me what the other hot Christmas toys are. Hatchimals last year, right? Or I think Hatchimals are still a thing, though. I think kids still want the Hatchimals. All right. The grown-ups want big hits out of these breaks, so box number one, good luck. So we'll breeze through these pretty quickly. There's Paul Perkins, 275. We'll sleeve and top load all of those up a little bit later. Just in the interest of time, we're going to move a little bit quickly through these. Uh, there's Josh Malone for the Bengals out of 75. Vet base does not ship, but all the inserts, parallels will. Uh, Bruce Ellington, 275 for the Niners. There's Doug Baldwin for the Seahawks out of 149. There'll be a big matchup between the Seahawks and the Eagles this weekend, which should be really good. And there's Jason Witten for the Cowboys. Cowboys getting back on track with a nice win over the Redskins last night. Travis Kelsey, that's a start for Ryan, who's looking for some redemption from last night's sad times. Hopefully happy times today, Ryan. Oh, this is nice. David Moore, 4 out of 10. Nice one for the Seahawks. Nice gold parallel. For the Hawks, that'll be Kyle Kramer. And there's 
Adam Vinatieri for the Colts out of 99. Have not seen our first, oh, there's our first auto. And it's Kevin King, 75 out of 75, cracked ice autograph. That'll go to the Packers, of course. That goes to Eric Leal. Aaron Rodgers might be practicing this week. Josh Gordon back. What does everyone, th what does everyone think Josh Gordon's going to do this week? There's Tease Tabor for the Lions out of 199. And Joe Williams, Wave, autograph. That's out of 149. That is for the Niners. That'll be for Ryan, Last Spot Mojo. With an autograph. Last Spot Mojo strikes again. There's poor Deshaun Watson. There's Rodney Adams for the Vikings out of 149. And TJ Logan is your third and final autograph out of here. Michael Gallucci with that. Mike's been waiting for this one for a little bit. There you go, sir. On the board with an auto. Box one. And there's Jordan Reed. And there you have it. There's box one. Uh, so going back to Christmas gifts, TJ saying money is the hot Christmas item. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Nino's like, yeah, money's always hot. A hot Christmas item for the adults. Hub City saying pogs, are pogs still in? I don't know if I don't know if any child right now would want a pog. They'd be like, "What is this?" Um, Rick saying, Rick saying a, a Dukes of Hazard barn buster. Little Dukes of Hazard. Boss Hog not included. And Landon's saying, uh, on sale Keurigs seem to be pretty popular. I could, see, I'm wondering if I should make the conversion to a Keurig. I feel like they're kind of wasteful, but I think you could buy like the reusable pods for that. But I still have a standard, like one of those big 12 cup coffee makers. That's pretty nice. But should I, should I go Switch gears to cure it. I don't know. Maybe I should. I think Starbucks has their own curing type machine, right? But I think they use different pods. Which is kind of annoying. Standardize those 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 cups, those pods, that's what I say. So no one apparently has any additional information on uh, on fingerlings and what they do. So we'll have to we'll have to research that. Maybe the next box I open up, we'll, <laughs> I'll I'll pull up a web page and see what it does. Shelton Gibson is our first autograph. That goes to the Eagles. That'll be for Darji. Charles Harris for the Dolphins. Out of 199. There's you like that. And our next autograph is Jamal Williams. Uh, 65 out of 99. Green scope. That's a catch. I'll give that a catch. Packers. That'll be Eric Leal. Steel Curtain, Michael saying, my son is three and loves Paw Patrol. There's a Paw Patrol boat that is really popular. Is that the is that the cartoon where the uh, where 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 there's a number of dogs that solve mysteries or crimes or something like that? There's Chad Kelly, 25 out of 75, cracked ice autograph for the Broncos. So all three autos are out already. Karen with the Broncos, little Oppo Joe Mojo. Abner saying, uh, my son is 11 and loves video games and Nerf guns. You know what? I want to get myself, there's a, um, there's a Nerf gun, like art, like a bow and arrow set. I, I kind of want to get one of those. Apparently there's like a particular one that's pretty good that people use for like trick shots and stuff like that. 66 out of 275. Johnu Smith for the Titans. 
I want to get one of those. I have no idea how much they cost. They, they, in my head, it's probably one price, and retail is probably a lot more expensive than I think it is. There's David Johnson. Poor David Johnson at 275 for Michael Gallucci. That's Steel Curtain. Sorry, Golden Tate. So we'll breeze through the rest of these. Julius Peppers for the Panthers out of 199. Wait, they have Nerf Leagues land in this thing? Stop. No, they don't. Really? They have Leagues for everything. Golden Tate out of 275. And LeGarrette Blunt, 63 out of 75. LeGarrette Blunt for the Eagles. Darji with the Eagles. Part of the multi-headed running attack for the Eagles. It seems to be working out for them, actually, which is crazy. Terrell Suggs for the Ravens, out of 149. And there's Julius Peppers again for the Panthers. Will, out of 275. A couple parallels there, and that's that box right there. All right. Next box. All right. Well, yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to. I'll have to take a look at that on YouTube. Abner saying you spent upwards of a hundred dollars for a Nerf gun. Well, I feel like I kind of feel like I kind of want want to do that. Shot videos too. Jason K wants to do immaculate football. Well, here's the schedule right here, Jason K. We're a little backed up right now, but yeah, I mean, we can, we can easily knock out a one box break of um, easily knock out a one box break of immaculate later tonight. So I should check out the Nerf Elite line, huh? All right, I'll have to check it out. Um, I have not seen any Seahawks, Kyle. Maybe maybe some, some inserts or parallels, but no uh, no autos as of yet. This is box, I think we're on our third box, right? This is our third box right now. Here we go, next box. We're gonna start off with Will Fuller V, the fifth. There's Kyle Williams for the Bills out of 75. It's for Ryan. It's Doug Martin. Sidney Jones out of 275 for the Eagles. There's Jason Witten Blue Wave for the Cowboys out of 149. And there's Allen Robinson for the Jaguars out of 199. Eric Ebron for the Lions out of 199. What did Kyle have an out? Oh, did Kyle get that out of 10? Oh, he did. There you go, Kyle. David Moore. Four out of 10. Not bad. Gold, parallel. There's Amari Cooper out of 275. I, I don't think he, is he playing this week? I don't think he might, he's playing this week. Concussion and ankle issues, possibly. Elijah Qualls is your first auto from this box. Eagles with another one. Darji. Yeah, that, that card is gold. Kyle Kramer, that's right. Classic. Josh McCowan. I like this mojo look right here. Rookie introductions, Leonard Fournette. That is eight out of 10. Gold mojo pattern, Jaguars, Joe Kroll with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Joe with the Jacksonville Jaguars. That's a good uh, good alliteration there. Excellent, There's, and now we go to Jordan, Jordan Howard. That is, what are you numbered to? 
275 for the Bears. That'll be for Yesenia. Oh, there's our auto down there. It's Bruce Ellington for the Niners. There you go. So last spot mojo Niners getting another autograph. No, not an autograph. What a... And a 275. Panini got me there. Usually the ones that are flipped around are autographs. All right, there's our Darius Stewart. I don't want to see. They're autographs like this. Our Darius Stewart, black ink auto for the New York Jets, Jets, Jets. That'll be for Paul Harris. Closed, sorry. We got David and Yoku for the Browns at a 99. We got Jabril Peppers for the Browns. That's a couple uh, nice parallels there for Nick T at a 199. And there you have. It. Did we get shorted an autograph? I think we did. That this Chad Kelly was from the other box, right? We have one, two, three. Four, five, six. On average. All right. Next box. Good luck. Did that happen last case as well? It's disappointing. All right, well, onwards. Maybe, maybe we'll find an above average box here. Find an above average box to make up for that. This is figure team number eight, ladies and gentlemen of Prism Football. Thanks for joining us, jazbeeshobbyland.com. We have one box breaks of these, uh, one box breaks of these on tenbuckbreaks.com. If you want to do uh, prison football a box at a time. Oh, interesting. Adam Kupperman is suggesting that it seems like you get shorted an auto when there's a non-auto flipped around, almost as if Panini tricked themselves. Yeah, that lo almost looks like a. Uh, like a, a, a manufacturer, like something in the manufacturing process where they mess that up. Jameson Crowder at a 75. He's looking pretty good for the Redskins, Michael. There is Damon Harrison for the Giants out of 149. We got Jared Goff out of 275 for the very surprising Rams this season. Chris with the Rams. We got Frank Gore to 149 for the Colts. And we've got CJ Bethard for the Niners. Ryan racking up the Niners autographs. It's last spot mojo as well. Adam Shaheen out of 275. Desperation pick in uh, fantasy if you need a tight end. Let's Jono Smith is an autograph. There you go. And that's a catch. I'll give that a catch. Titans. Adam Adamo with the Titans. Marco Murray for the Titans out of 199. Ruben Foster for the Niners out of 199. Ted Ginn Jr. for the Saints out of 199. Saints are looking good this season. Very good this season. Got that defense. 
Got some points coming up. This will uh, this usually replaces an autograph. What we'll do with points, I know most people know this, but they don't really come up too often, so I'll remind everybody again. Um, we're going to collect all the points into one lot at the end of the break and randomize them that way. So instead of three people getting 250, 150, and 150 or something like that, no, one person will get all the points. So that actually makes it um, pretty decent, actually, because you can collect those points together and get something solid in the reward store. 47 out of 49, Isaiah Ford, Red Power. And there you go. All right, next box. Good luck. Uh, Paul T was saying in New York, there's an Eli Manning edition bench cushion. Oh, poor Eli Manning. Yeah, I heard that on the radio last night, Landon. Tiger, uh, Tiger Woods appears to be back. Seems to be having a good couple days thus far. I guess his, his back is okay or something like that. But after a long layoff, he's uh, apparently back in action and looking all right. Is he still with uh, Lindsey Vaughn? Was, was that, is that who, who she was with? I, I, I don't remember when points started, Mothro. But I know they were more common maybe four or five years ago or something like that, but they're less common now. But the reward store is also a lot better, too, than it was a number of years ago, too. All right. Good luck, folks. We're chugging away. No on Vaughn, huh? Matt Forte to 149 for the Jets, Jets, Jets. We got Taylor Gabriel for the Dirty Birds out of 199. And Tariq Cohen is your autograph. There you go. Tariq Cohen for the Bears, Yesenia. It's not a bad one. Pretty ex dynamic player, Tariq. We got Dion Lewis for the Pats out of 275. Karen with that one. Brashad Perriman. I like when the parallel matches the uniform. 47 out of 75 for the Purple Birds. That'll be Joe Howard. There you go, Joe. Chad Hansen to catch a pass. Chad Hansen, 58 out of 99. No relation to Chris Hansen, who catches Predators. Corey Davis for the Titans, out of 275. Marquise Lee for the Jaguars, out of 99. Tyrod Taylor. Dak Prescott. Tariq Cohen again, 185 out of 199. Nice one for the Bears. There's our other auto there. Behind Kyle Rudolph is Josh Reynolds for the Rams out of 149. For the Ramily, Chris McKeague with that one. There you go, Chris. 145 out of 149. With Robert Woods out, I think uh, guys like Josh Reynolds could get a little more, more work. Cooper Cup as well, et cetera, et cetera. Should be expecting one more autograph out of here. Nice, look at the different Vaughn. Six out of 25, nice camo refractor. Vaughn Miller for Karen and the Broncos. Little oppo Joe mojo. Deonta Foreman, Falcons. That'll be out of 275. And our third autograph is a butt, a Jake butt. For Karen, he's a tight end, Karen. Jake Bud. Yeah. 
And there's Dion Lewis in the back right there. Yeah, the uh, Kyle Kyle Kramer saying, "Hey, let's start a proven bust of a quarterback over a two-time Super Bowl champion who be who might yeah who might be in the Hall of Fame someday." I I don't understand what 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 the reasoning for that is from from McAdoo side of things. Everyone seems to agree that everyone we all kind of know what what we have in Geno Smith. You know, maybe he's missed out on some opportunities. Him breaking his jaw certainly didn't help. That kind of derailed his career. But we kind of know what you have in... I mean, I think it'd be more understandable if they were like, yeah, we're going we're to see what we have in Davis Webb. Which I, I think they are committed to doing that too. But it just seems like an odd time. And if if, if, if McAdoo wants to keep his job, I guess, you know, you got to win ball games, right? So, you know... Eli Manning still gives you the best chance to win unless they don't think that anymore. I mean, he's been playing pretty decently in spite of all the wide receiver injuries and O-line issues and whatnot, which which have actually gotten a lot better since the first few weeks. But it just seems like an odd play. It seems almost as odd as as um, as starting Nathan Peterman. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you're like... Everyone kind of goes, like, listen, I'm, I'm not a head coach. I'm not smart enough to be a head coach. Um, but, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense to me. Well, no, 2-9 and nine is not an odd time for a quarterback change. I think starting Geno Smith is an odd time for a quarterback change. I think that's what makes it kind of weird. You know, why not see what you have in Davis Webb at that point? There's Taco Charlton at a 275 who's going to start a uh, restaurant with Socrates Brito, I hope, someday. We got Antonio Gates out of 149 for the Los Angeles Chargers now. Trevor Simeon out of 275. <laughs> what if the Broncos got Eli Manning? There's Amir Abdullah. 62 out of 99. And I think it's not so much as 2 and 9 being an odd time per se. I, I, I think most people are objecting to um, are objecting to how it was done, not, not that it was done. You know what I mean? There's Chad Hansen for the Jets. Jets, Jets, 50 out of 75. AJ Green out of 199. Marquise Goodwin out of 275 for the Niners. And the autograph is Joe Mixon and a camo refractor as well. That should be out of 25. Bengals, Michael Gallucci. Let's find a cleaner top loader here. Michael Gallucci with the Joe Mixon. Nice. That is 15. Yep. Out of 25. That is strong. Joe Mixon starting to come into his own over the last few weeks or so. Robert Davis for the Redskins out of 199. So Chris Wilson suggesting, hey, you know, Gino may ball out for all we know. Judging someone on their tenure with the Jets can be misleading. This is true. Wow. This is a nice, this is an autograph. It is. Marshawn Lattimore, Saints. The first one ever made, 001 out of 149. Who's got the Saints? Darji with the Saints. Marshawn Lattimore, a big part of the uh, big part of the defensive turnaround there in Nolens. Very nice. Got another camo coming up. I like these uh, camo refractors, especially that sort of digital camo look in the blue as well, which I like. Charles Sims, Buccaneers. Alex Lindsay with the Buccaneers. 21 out. Yeah, Steel Curtain went oppo on that. He's a, you know, Michael Gallucci, Steel Curtain. Get it? I'm sure you do. Philip Dorsett out of 49 for the Colts. And what else do we have here? We've got Elijah Hood. Nice for my Raiders. Karen Steele with my Raiders. There you go, Karen. 
That was a solid box. All right. Next one. So let's uh, let's go through some uh, let's go through some games. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. So we're halfway through this break. So we got about half an hour to go. I think this is a good time to start talking a little bit about some of the upcoming games that are coming up this weekend. Because I'm not going to be here tomorrow. So it's we can discuss the games right now. Um, let's start with I'm just going I'm on NFL.com/scores. No teams with buys. Those are all done. Uh, the first game that they're listing are the uh, Vikings, I think, at the Falcons, right? Vikings-Falcons. In fact, you know what? We're going to go look at the Vegas odds. That's I like looking at odds. How about that? We're going to start with, sorry, so we're going to start with this. And we're going to go by the Westgate Superbook odds. Detroit-Baltimore. The Ravens at home minus three. Ravens at home minus three. Who do you have? We'll start with that one. Then we'll get to the Minnesota Falcons game in just a second. Lions on the road. Matt Stafford probable. Lions on the road in Baltimore. You know, solid defense. Minus three, which seems to be a standard sort of line for for a home team. Mr. St. Louis, what's going on? Hi, Mark. Good to see you. Yeah, we're 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 broadcasting. Uh, we'll do we're dual streaming on Breakers TV. All right, let's go through this box. Mel saying Ravens should cover. I think they should too, right? Out of two seventy five, Gronk for Karen. There's Travis Kelsey, Green Scope, out of 99 for the Chiefs and Ryan. Steeler Auto, maybe? Yeah, TJ Watt. Turn down for Watt. TJ Watt. Nice pickup for the Steelers. That goes to Michael Gallucci. That's his team right here. That's Steel Curtain in the YouTube stream. Kelvin Benjamin. Panthers edition out of 275. Darius Hayward Bay out of 199. For the Steelers, for Michael as well. Former Raider, Darius Hayward Bay. Brad Kaya for the Lions out of 275. And there's Deshaun Watson Illumination insert. We've got purple crystal or cracked ice out of 75. That's Amara Darbo for Kyle Kramer and the Seahawks. I don't know why I sleeve that up. I was going to wait for that until after the break. Hassan Reddick out of 199 for the Cardinals. Joey Bosa for the Chargers out of 275. And we got Josh Reynolds, green uh, scope, autograph, 83 out of 99. Next game, Niners at Chicago, San Francisco in Chicago. I think Garoppolo is starting this game, right? Uh, Bears get the little home field advantage. Bears are minus three. I think the Niners can do this. I think the Niners can win on the road, right? New quarterback. Poor Eli Manning. There's uh, Kalfani Muhammad for the Saints, 3 out of 25. There's Matty Ice out of 199. And Quincy Wilson for the Colts. I'll go to Brian Crouch with that autograph. Mel says 49ers can take it. I think so too. Uh, 
I mean, un unless unless like the Bears defense does like wacky stuff like they did in that Panthers game a number of weeks back, but yeah, all things being equal. Um, here we go. Minnesota at Atlanta. Falcons minus three. Mel taking the uh, the Vikings. Mothra will also taking the Vikings in that one. The Falcons are minus three. You know, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking the Falcons. I think the Falcons can. T well, it'll be a big test for Minnesota on the road, but man, Minnesota's looking good too. But the Falcons are at home. I think that does make a difference. I think it'll be close. It'll probably be the under. The over/under is at 47. I'll take. Uh, I'll take the under. And I'll take Atlanta barely by like four points. Yeah, Jeremy33 say, say the, the Falcons are awakening. They're stirring from their nest. Their eggs are being threatened. So they're gonna, they are gonna fight back, apparently. He didn't say all that, I made up the egg analogy. Uh, but yeah, no, I think I think I'm gonna go with the Falcons on this one. Uh, next game is uh, New England at Buffalo. Patriots at the Bills. Patriots are the road favorites. They're minus nine. Patriots are road favorites. Um, usually, when it gets to double digits for a road favorite, you take the home team. Generally speaking, is the rule. Very generally speaking, but. You know what the Patriots are good at doing? Covering. Patriots will, will take care of business there. Ryan Switzer. Nice. He had a great uh he had a great touchdown last night, right? Didn't he run one back? Well, Tice, I hope the Bills as well, but but if money is on the line, you know, you gotta go with the Patriots. They 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 always they always cover. Davis Webb, 17 out of 75. I think he, uh, they said that he would get looks too. Maybe we're freaking out about the Geno Smith thing too much, but I think he'll get, Davis Webb will certainly get time as well. There's Janu Smith out of 149 for the Titans. That'll be for Adam Adamo. That red power autograph is pretty cool. Cowboys, Brian Crouch with the Cowboys once again. I like that checkerboard look. Jamal Williams had a 275 for the Packers. Yeah, I think everyone pretty much agrees that that, that New England will take care of business. Um, oh, boy, this is going to be a great map. Broncos at the Dolphins. Broncos are minus one and a half. They are minus one and a half road favorites. <laughs> They're minus one and a half in Miami. Out of 99, LaShawn McCoy. I mean, Broncos have not been looking good. And they're on a really bad losing streak. There's Adam Thielen. He's been playing well. Um, so they got to win this. But they're on the road, going all the way to the East Coast. This might, you know, could it be a difficult matchup? I'm not sure. Who does everyone have? 15 out of 1. If if I was actually had money on this, I would not be betting that game. <laughs> I just wouldn't. I'd just be like, pass. Pass on that. Lamar Miller out of 199. Jeremy33 says Dolphins. There's my boy Khalil Mack, Mack Attack, out of 275 for Karen. There's Terrence Williams for the Cowboys out of 275. <laughs> yeah, the AFC West is not doing well. I'll see. So we'll combine these points together. Matthew Days out of 199. There you have it. That 400 points takes the place of an autograph. So one person will walk away with 650 points, which is actually pretty decent.
Yeah, Mel saying that the Broncos have just given up this year. It seems like it. You know, I think uh, that's a tough game. I don't know how I would pick. I guess I would go with go with Miami just as just as the home team, but that's not a matchup that I would like to uh, that I would like to bet on. Um, Jeremy thirty three saying, "I'm going to show his son a video of Paxlin crying." Tell him this is not what you do, son. Well, you know, a man can cry. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't know about I don't know about on television though. You can do it in the locker room. <laughs> Yeah, Paxton Lynch was bummed out. He's pretty bummed out. Uh, we've uh, Nick and I over the years have we've met Paxton Lynch a couple times through various uh, Panini events. Thank you, Panini. Um, through various events, really nice dude. Really tall, really tall guy. Um, a lot taller than some of the other ball players that we've seen. Um, he said he, uh, there there was a Q and A one one time where, when we met Paxton Lynch and he was saying that uh, that he he was one of the few uh, players who said that they actually kind of collected things when they were when they were kids. Uh, Two seventy five Paxton Lynch Pokemon cards. He said he had he had big binders full of the Pokemon cards. I don't know why this Jordan Matthews was flipped around, but there it is. Adam Vinatieri to 99. Hopefully it doesn't, doesn't mean we're shorted an autograph. There's Kareem Hunt. There it is. Green scope or spirographs as I like to call it. And black ink autograph all contained within the sticker beautifully. Nice job, Kareem. That's 46 out of 99. Sweet Kareems are made of these. For Ryan Landauer and the Kansas City Chiefs. Little, little oppo, Joe Mojo. There's Solomon Thomas for the Niners. That's also for Ryan. And staying in the AFC West, more opposite Joe Mojo. D'Angelo Henderson, Broncos. Cracked ice for Karen. 25 out of 75. I have to say, though, I don't... I hate the Broncos far more than I hate the Chiefs. Like, I, I'm... You know, the Chiefs are definitely rivals, but I don't really have, like, uh, the, the burning hatred for the Chiefs that I do for the Broncos. <laughs> Broncos, I definitely hate a lot more. The Chiefs, I'm like, eh, the Chiefs are fine. They're a great team. Jerron Lee out of 199. We got David Moore, another Seahawk for Kyle out of 99 parallel. We got to find him some ink. Or yeah, no, yeah, yeah, we still got to find find you some ink. I think we got some nice parallels though. There's TB12, Tom Brady, out of 275. That doesn't look like a guy who's 40. Karen, where's his birth certificate? I'm gonna be a Tom Brady birther. I want to see his birth certificate. I think he's a lot younger, but saying that he's older, and then selling TB12 books. 141 out of 149, Isaiah Ford for the Dolphins for Ryan. There you go, Royal for Speed. I think all his teams have hit now. So much better day today, Ryan, than yesterday. That's a good sign. There's Malik McDowell out of 275 for the Seahawks. Kyle's saying, pull me that one of one more and he'll start the rainbow. I know, right? Ron Lee out of 275 for the Jets, Jets, Jets. I think that'd be it. There's Melvin Gordon out of 149 for the Los Angeles Chargers. That goes to James Davidson. All right, three boxes to go. We're almost done. Can you believe that? See, time flies when you're having fun. Oh, I missed I missed what you said earlier, Kyle. It was like you said Pokemon cards from like ninety eight to two thousand one worth stupid money if they grade a nine ten. Nine or a ten. 
Well, I'll let Paxton Lynch know that next time I see him. <laughs> In case that whole, you know, football thing doesn't work out. I'll be like, well, you may be sitting on a nest egg, Mr. Lynch, with your, uh, with your Pokemon cards. Oh, I better breeze through all these games. We're running out of time. Um, Houston at Tennessee. Houston at Tennessee. The Texans at the Titans. Titans at home, minus six and a half. You know, Titans actually don't... They don't cover as well as you would think they would. I don't think the Texans win, but I think they keep it within a touchdown, within that six and a half. Um, that's my opinion. Uh, Indianapolis, Jacksonville. Colts at the Jaguars. Jaguars at home. They're minus nine and a half, according to... No, I think minus ten, according to Westgate. Uh, minus ten, according to Westgate. Uh, I go with... I gotta go with... Yeah, I'm, I'm going with Jacksonville. They're, they're at home. It's kind of hard to go. I mean, they're, they're, their defense alone... May may get may may help them cover. Um, Tampa Bay, the Buccaneers are at Green Bay. Green Bay Packers are minus two and a half at home. That's an interesting one. Buccaneers have Jameis Winston back. They could use a win. Uh, I say uh, I say the Buccaneers on the road. Although. I don't know. Kyle says Buccaneers as well. Although Green Bay did look pretty good against the Steelers, maybe just recency bias. But I, I'll, I'll go with I'll go with Tampa Bay. Looks like it's like a lot of people are saying. I mean, unless this guy was there, two out of ninety nine, he's supposed to be practicing. Maybe back week fifteen. That's for the Packers, of course. That's for Eric Leal. Um, man, what happened to Kansas City? We've discussed this before this week. There's Curtis Samuel. For the Panthers out of 99. Um, Chiefs are at the Jets. Chiefs are road favorites at minus three and a half. But you know what? I'm going with Elijah Maguire's Jets at a 275. That goes to Paul Harris. Um, the Jets against the spread have a pretty good record, actually. They have a pretty good record. They may not win, but I think they'll... I think they'll get within that three and a half. Yeah, the Jets do play tough. And look at the stats. Like, look up all the all the spreads, and look at them. Um, here's the case hit right here. Uh, and and look at them against the spread. And they've got a pretty good record against the spread. And it's Curtis Samuel, Jersey and Auto. Seventy-five out of ninety-nine. That goes to the Panthers. Will with that one. Will Demott. Nice one. Case hit for you. Congrats. Better late than never. I don't think I called your number out. I'll rig. Gerald Everett for the Rams at a 199. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the uh, with the Jets. Um, Panthers at Saints. Panthers at Saints. Carolina uh, is plus five. New Orleans minus five. New Orleans is favored at home minus five. Karen with a D'Angelo Henderson autograph. It's got to be Saints, right? 37 out of 49, Saints at home. Tyrell Williams, red power for the Los Angeles Chargers. Saints have a good defense, a well-balanced offense. <laughs> Is that another Isaiah Ford? That's a lot of Isaiah Fords. 22 out of 99. Whether you like it or not, Ryan, you are starting your Isaiah Ford PC. So you'll have, you'll have a stack of these. For your personal collection. There's Cole Beasley for the Cowboys. They they won last night. They're back on track, kind of. They're still on the hunt. They're still in the playoff hunt. All right, two boxes to go. Almost there, folks. Stay on target. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the Saints as well. Um, 
Okay, so this is interesting. Chargers at home. They are hosting the Cleveland Browns, the hapless Cleveland Browns. The Chargers are minus 14. The Chargers are minus two touchdowns. But against the Browns, who are on the road. No, that that's interesting. Although, guess guess who? Uh, if if there are teams like the Jets, who are who even though their their win loss record may not be tr may not be great, their their record against the against the spread is pretty solid. Is pretty solid. There's also uh, the Patriots, right? Patriots always cover, right? They always do it. It's as if they know the line already. Mm. Um, no, but they chart Patriots always cover. You know who never covers? The Browns. I think I think they also might be over the spread this season as well. So on the road for, against the Chargers, who are actually playing very well, uh, both on both sides of the football. Yeah, I gotta I gotta think that the Chargers will win by like 17, 20 points or something like that. There's Zach Ertz out of 149 for the Fly Eagles Fly. We're playing incredibly. That should be a good matchup this weekend. We'll get to that game in just a second. There's LaShawn McCoy out of 199 for the Bills. Shady for the Bills. Karen, there's Demarius Thomas. There's Brandon Cooks to 99. Just kidding, it's not to 99. Um, this is true. Yeah, Mel is saying, hey, Rivers can throw. Throws fast, hits his targets. And you know what else Rivers likes to do? Uh, he likes to still throw when he has the lead in the fourth quarter. So it's like, it's like he's, he's, he's almost like a college football quarterback. Like he'll still, he'll still sling it, uh, it uh, in the fourth quarter with a lead. 255 to 275, Jonathan Stewart for the Panthers. So people who, who bet on the, uh, who run with the Chargers when they're betting are often pretty happy about that. You often have to take the over. Another set of points that'll be collected into that. That's a good points haul now. But it does take the place of a live auto. There's Wayne Gallman. 20 out of 99, green scope for the New York Football Giants. That'll be for Joe Cavanaugh Jr. And hey, free Davis Webb. That's what I say, free Davis Webb, 44 out of 99. Green scope. Joe Cavanaugh with the New York Football Giants, free Davis Webb. Derek Barnett at a 275 for the Fly Eagles Fly. And then there's Derek Barnett autograph this time for the Fly Eagles Fly. That'll be for Darji. Nice. And that's the last auto. The 250 took care of the other auto, the third. Unless there's a bonus, no. There's my boy Derek Carr. We'll get to that game too, 275 in just a second. All right, last box coming up. Last box coming up. There's the break schedule in the in the chat right now. So we'll be doing uh, chronicles a little bit after this once I clear away this break, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But last box. All right, let's run through the last four games here. Now I want your opinions, so shout them out. Rams are in Arizona. Rams are minus seven. They are road favorites, minus seven in Phoenix. What do you think? Um, the, the, the Cardinals have been looking pretty good lately, but I think I think the Rams are going to take this pretty easily. I think they'll win by 10, 14, a couple touchdowns. I think, I think the Rams will be just fine. Uh, New, York, New York football giants on the road playing my Oakland Raiders. 
Raiders are minus eight. Raiders are minus eight at home to the New York Football Giants who are starting Geno Smith. I say at home, I'll take the Raiders at home. I think the Raiders will win by like 10 or 12 points. I think they'll be, I think they'll be just fine. Um, which is good. The Raiders have a pretty, pretty decently easy schedule. That which might help them with their outside shot at a, at the playoffs. Um, the Eagles are traveling all the way across the country, from Philadelphia all the way to Seattle. The Eagles are road favorites at minus five and a half. That's the Sunday night game. What does everyone have? Who does ever? What team does everyone have? Eagles are. I've been firing on all cylinders. I'm thinking Eagles, right? There's Landry out of 99. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a battle of the birds, John Oakrave. There's Tom Brady again, Karen. That's for you. Mel says, uh, out of 275, Robert Kelly. Mel says Eagles. John Oakrave says Seattle covers it. Mel says, uh, you think the Eagles are resting their players now, are they? They'll probably get a bye. Do they really need to rest? There's Ryan Switzer out of 49 for the Cowboys. Brian Crouch. There's Jamal Adams for the Jets out of 149. Cruz is hoping for a Hawks upset. I don't know. The Seattle is, you know, it's a, it's a difficult place to go out there and play. There's Tankersley. Dolphins having a nice break. There you go, Ryan. Royal for speed with the Dolphins. Jordan all Jordan Hope saying, "Hey, don't see his Hawks doing very well." He had a see the Eagles. The thing is, the Eagles' defense has looked really good too. I mean, we know about we know about what Wentz and uh, offense can do. A defense that's a little tough one. Purple Birds. Jeremy Macklin for Joe Howard. Two out of seventy-five. Set that aside. We'll sleeve those up after this break. There's Emmanuel Sanders for Karen and the uh, Broncos out of 149. What's up, Todd? What's going on? Oh, there's Christian McCaffrey. Nice. CMAC, run CMC. 36 out of 99. Green scope for Will, Will Demon with that. Oh, that's smart, yeah. Mel saying, hey, I, I would actually, if I'm if you, betting that game, I'd skip the spread, just take money line on the Eagles just to win outright. That's not a bad idea. Robert Kelly to 199. Yeah, the case it was a Panther too, right, Joe? Curtis Samuel, I think, and now you got the Christian McCaffrey. And then we've got Chad Hansen. Blue Wave autograph for the Jets, Jets, Jets. Paul Harris with the Jets. And I believe that's our final autograph of the break. We'll randomize the points, and then I'll do a recap video in the separate one. Um, last but not least, uh, you know what? I'll take uh, I'll take the Eagles. I th I'm, I'm going to leave the Eagles the edge on this one, but barely. Uh, last game, Monday night game, is uh, Pittsburgh at Cincinnati. Steelers at the Bengals. Steelers are road favorites at minus four and a half coin to Westgate. It's gotta be the Steelers, right? All right, let's go back to the list right here. There's Michael down to Michael. And the name on top will get all the points. Winner take all on the points. Uh, after nine times, five and a four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Looks like everyone's taking taking Pittsburgh. Uh, after nine times, Alex Lindsay with a consolation. Steel Curtain, of course, says Steelers. Right there. So, Alex, those are all yours. Thanks very much, everyone. That was a full case. Pick your team of 2017 Panini Prism Football. Pick your team number eight on a Friday night. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.